For artist Jenny Gershman, granddaughter of Soviet poet Mikhail Matusovsky, Russia's attack on Ukraine came as a shock. Her grandfather, who had moved to California from Moscow many years ago, would not have survived the trauma, she says. He loved culture, he loved the Russian language, but his roots were in Ukraine. His father, my great-grandfather, was the first photographer in Luhansk. He would not have survived this war, he would have simply gotten a heart attack. For years, Gershman has been pouring her soul onto canvas. These latest events were not an exception. After she saw this photograph of Ukrainian Alena Kurila, she knew what she had to do. These eyes talk to me, I just had to do something. After she was done, she showed the portrait to a friend, filmmaker Adrian Rupp. I couldn't look away, I couldn't stop thinking about it, and I wrote back to her immediately, saying this is something that could launch a movement. Adrian helped me get in touch with an auction, with the largest art auction house in the world, Heritage Auctions. They have millions of active participants, and they hope that in the two weeks that the auction for this painting will last, they can raise millions that will all go to the Red Cross Foundation to help Ukraine. Gershman is in touch with the photographer who made the photograph of Kurila. Wolfgang Schwann is American. He flew to Ukraine to document everything that was going on there. On the very first day, Kurila got caught on his camera. On the way, we noticed um, a large plume of smoke coming from the direction of Chagoyev. We made the decision that we're going to head to that area, see what it is that's burning. Um, so we just accidentally arrived at a, a civilian complex that had been struck. We parked the car in between these two buildings. The first person that we see is actually Olena. The photograph made many newspapers' front pages around the world. In Russia, the picture was called a fake, and the woman on it, an actress wearing makeup. Kurila is a teacher from the village of Chuhuiv. When the shelling started early on February 24th, she was inside her apartment. She says it's a miracle she is still alive. Suddenly there was a loud bang and shattered glass falling on me. Blood was pouring onto my face. When I managed to leave the building, I saw three reporters. I didn't pay attention to them. They were taking pictures. Kurila was surprised her bloodied face became the symbol of Russia's aggression in Ukraine. She was also surprised to learn how many people wanted to help her. We are helping her find a surgeon she can't see with one eye. She needs urgent surgery, but there are no surgeons who can help during the war. We sent her some financial aid. She has nowhere to live. She has nothing. Gershman continues to work. She bases a lot of her portraits on Schwann's photographs. After Russia's invasion comes to an end, she hopes to organize an exhibition together with Schwann. For Angelina Bogdasaran in Los Angeles, NRI's VOA News.